Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be looking at this MacBook Pro mid-2012, which is displaying this error message. So this is a circle with a line going through it. And this means that the MacBook cannot see the hard drive or the operating system. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe button. It really helps this channel out and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac news. So this is a very common issue. I've actually solved this dozens of times. This especially applies to all of the unibody MacBook Pros between 2008 until mid 2012. And really the only issue is that the computer cannot see the operating system or the hard drive. And this is due to a faulty cable. So what I'm gonna do is to leave a link in the description for a replacement cable, which you can buy from Amazon. So you can buy these for the different models. So you've got the 13 and 15 inch models of all of the laptops between 2008 and mid 2012. 12 and then once you replace the cable for this then you should be able to see the actual hard drive data quite easily. So today I'm going to show you how to do this cable replacement. So the first thing that we need to do is to shut down the computer. So I'm going to hold down the power button here and then make sure this whole thing shuts down completely. Then I'm going to disconnect the charger and I'm basically going to flip this over upside down. And then we're gonna use a basic screwdriver. So this is a basic Phillips head. And we're gonna take off all of these screws around the case. The main thing to remember with these MacBook Pros is that the two center screws near the hinge are a different length. as well as a screw on the charger side here. Those are slightly longer, the rest are all the same length. So once those screws are removed, we're just going to lift up the bottom plate like so. And what you'll see here is the logic board, the RAM, the battery, the optical drive. But the main thing that we're interested in today is this cable here. So this is the hard drive cable, and this often goes bad. So what I'm gonna do is to release this cable. And to do that, we need to lift up this bracket here, which is holding down the hard drive. So this bracket lifts up like so. And then what I'm also gonna do is to lift up the hard drive itself. So you can use your fingers. I'm just gonna use a screwdriver to pull this up. And then we have our solid state drive here. I'm just gonna disconnect the SATA cable from there. So the SATA cable is the thing that we're gonna replace. And what I'm gonna do now is to remove these two screws here. So there's two very small screws. Make sure you have a small Phillips head for this one. So we're now ready to replace that entire cable. So what we can do is to lift this up with your fingernail. This is the kind of connector for that board here. And then we're going to lift up the rest of this. So we also need to remove these two screws here. So this is the other side of the kind of bracket. And this also contains the thermal sensor as well. So once you've lifted these two parts out, you can lift this up. And this is the kind of thermal sensor part here. So it all, it all comes as one unit, this uh, SATA cable. And basically this part is glued down and you just lift it up like a sticker. So that's now come off. So this is the part that's most likely to be faulty. So I've replaced, you know, dozens of these over the years. Now we're gonna get our new cable, which I'll leave a link to in the description. This was purchased from Amazon. So I'm just gonna pull this out. So just make sure that this is the correct one and make sure you buy the correct length as well. Cause if you have say a 15 inch cable, it won't fit very snugly into the 13 inch cable as well. So basically what we need to do is to align this up correctly. What I'd like to do first is to get the sensor in correctly first. So I've got my little bracket here. So here I'm just going to 
install this here. So there's a little sticker part here, which attaches to here. I want to make sure that this tiny golden cable goes inside the part here. So you want to kind of get that in as much as possible. And then we'll flip this bracket down and then it's nice and secure. And then what we're going to do is to place this sticker down on here so that that sticker part is connected like so. So now that's ready to go in. And then what we're going to do is to pull this adhesive tape off here. Take that off like so. And then we're going to put this down like so. So I'm going to put this bracket in first. Make sure that screw goes in there. And I'm just going to screw these down first. And then we're going to let this adhesive go over where the old adhesive was. Now we've got this kind of part here that we need to screw in. So I've got two tiny screws here. So now that part's screwed in, and then we just bend over this cable, and then we shove it into that slot there. So that's all nice and secure now. And all we need to do now is to plug in our hard drive again. So this is a solid state drive. We're just gonna plug this into the SATA cable. Then we'll insert it into this bracket like so, and then push this down like that. Then we're gonna put the bracket back on here with the Phillips head screws. And basically that is now complete. So it does stick up a little bit. You could just lift up this and then kind of bend it a little bit just to get that bend in the cable, but you don't want to bend it too much. This is relatively delicate. Now what we need to do is to put the back cover back on and they're ready to go. So it's a good idea at this stage, not necessarily to put all the bottom screws back in and just make sure that we can test this and make sure it's all working. So I'm going to power on the computer. So this is all booted up correctly. I'm going to log into the guest user now. So now that I confirm everything's working, we can now put these screws back in to complete the job. So anyway, that is how you fix this very common issue with these Unibody Max from 2008 to mid 2012. All you have to do is replace the cable and hopefully I've shown that it's very easy to do. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got lots of other Mac tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.